Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's up, guys? Anthony, Sportsbook Robbery. It's uh, July 3rd. Day before the holiday. If there are even holidays anymore. Uh, one game on the slate. Mercury versus Wings. We got it opened up at minus five. It's basically the same. Minus four and a half. Over under 165 and a half. That did climb to 172. Um, Mercury are the favorites. Went up and down a little bit. Basically the same. But uh we got a couple player prompts to get into them. Alright, first up I got uh this WNBA is pretty tough. Sitting here for hours trying to figure out what to do. Maybe I'm over analyzing. Yesterday was the difference between a couple points being a really good day and Another fucking, another day. We'll just call it that. So, uh, narrowed it down to, I got a cloud over three and a half rebounds. Minus 138 in FanDuel. For the year, 68% hit rate. Um, it's going over this. Not by much, but she's going over it. She's an aggressive player. Uh, point guard. Head to head, they played twice this year. She's went over both times, four and four. Uh, what does it say? She's exceeded three and a half in eleven and thirteen games on the road, averaging five point four. Only a little bit of a downside would be Dallas is third in uh, rebounds allowed, but also Dallas is on their third game in four days. So thinking maybe some tired legs, some. Um, Shots falling short, more rebound opportunities. But, uh, yeah, so I got her on her rebounds. But then I was juggling back and forth. I also played her points. I did them separate just to keep them separate. Otherwise, you had to have, like, a, another point if you put them together. Or rebound, for that matter. But uh, over 11 and a half, minus 120. Cashed it the other day. I laid off it. I should have stayed on it. But uh, last, like, five games, four games, she's gone over this. She's been doing real well, and it's been progressing, going up. Connecticut's a good team, and she still scored 18, 15 in Indiana. That, you know, not that great, but getting better. Um, I was laying off it, and then I decided to play it, you know, because eventually she's going to miss. I just still think 10, 11 points – is uh, the way she's playing. We're getting towards the more important games. She's going to continue to go. Uh, give it a shot. Try to ride these streaks. So we got her on her points over 11 and a half. Uh, DraftKings got the best odds right now. And then uh, rebounds. All right. Next up, next up, we got uh, Kalia Cooper, another one I've been juggling with. It's going to play your points. Uh, it's easy. They don't have lines out for her. I don't know if she's not going to play. She didn't play last game. I have no idea. They don't know if uh, Grind is going to play. She's on day to day. But, uh, so I played her threes under two and a half. It's a little juice, minus 165. But um, last five games, she's gone under this. Last five games as well, she ain't even been shooting that many. 35% for the year on three-point percentage. She's failed to go over two three-pointers in five straight games, obviously. But... um. Th 
three points allowed by Dallas, their fifth. Uh, last few games, she had three, six attempts, three, seven, four. Shooting 17% from three in the last five games. So I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, this leads into what I said before about tired legs, third game in four days. You know, if she does take them, hopefully she'll leave them short. Um, head-to-head, 20%. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing. Head-to-head, she did go over this the first two times they played. But uh, it was back in the beginning of the month when she was going crazy shooting threes. She cashed that for a while, all these back in. She went crazy, but she's been on the downfall. So hopefully I catch it and I'm not too late and uh, I don't miss it. So we're going to clear Cooper on the two and a half rebounds. Uh, two and a half threes. So. I have a notification sign. Get my plays, uh, my bets, my info. Try to be as transparent as possible. Uh, let's keep it moving. All right. Played this the other day. She uh, she didn't get the couple missed shots. Uh, just wasn't looking it. But uh, this leads into if uh, if Grinder doesn't play, I feel like she should easily go over this. You know, if she does play. Got a good chance to go over it. Uh, points over 11 and a half, minus 110. Uh, 53% hit rate for the year. Phoenix like a, a, is the ninth in points allowed. Like I said, the third game in four days. Home games. Dallas is playing at home. The count has gone over this uh, six out of seven this season. Head to head, it's gone over this 100% this season. 20 points they played on the 9th of uh, June. So, so uh, I figure I'd give it a shot. I'm really hoping that Grinder doesn't play. It'll, it'll help this play be a little, hit a little easier. Um, they do is, you know, a big woman, so they, they feed her in the post. She got a decent mid range shot, uh, some putbacks and stuff like that. So she's got some foul trouble last time, too. That was the other issue. But hopefully, she goes over it. Uh, McCallum points 11 and a half. 12.3 points, 3.3 rebounds, almost five assists. Uh, she was injured and she's only played like three three or four games. They don't have her stats on outlier at all. Uh, three games she's played, averaging 26 minutes, 12.3 points a game. Um, she went over this number twice. Since she's played, I don't have all the stats, but uh, I really liked it. It's hard to find plays, uh, plays certain stats for these WNBA and everything else. You know, it's not it's not as broken down as the NBA. But, uh, yeah, she's only played three games but since she's been back, but she's looking good. I like the way she played. Real active. I mean, three games back, 12.3 points she's averaging, 3.3 rebounds, four, almost five assists, two steals, shooting 48.4% from the field, 50% from three, 55 from the free throw line, and averaging one personal foul. Oh, wait, there's her points down over here. She had 12 points last game, 7 the game before, and 18 her first game back. So, looking good. Looking good. All right, like I said, if you could like the video, new viewers, please subscribe. Uh, hopefully, we have a better day. Like I said, yesterday was so close. Missed a couple by one. 
Dolson got in foul trouble. She only shot one three, went one for one. So she didn't go over her points. Um, he can be hooked. Uh, Hamby, not can be Hamby. And uh, a couple of others are so close, but uh, it's not horseshoes, so let's keep it moving. Ace money to name. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.